Hey guys, got a new video here, something new to me, uh, I'm going to give this thing a try. Bought this uh, thing called a uh, Ranverter, and basically it's uh, for SDR receiver and uh, software defined radio. And this is basically just for a receiver, and it's a pan adapter, uh, SDR receiver, um, dongle, it can do all sorts of things. And something I'll be able to uh, attach to the IF strip in a radio. And that's what my plans were to do. And then it should be able to control the radio with the software of the computer. And uh, basically we're going to assemble this thing. And then after I get it assembled, we're going to... Uh, there's the assembly instructions. Pretty straightforward. Uh, pretty cool little kit. We're going to get this all put together. There's the board. And uh, here it is. So, uh, I've already un cut the tape and everything, but here's what we got. And then we got a USB cable down in there that hooks to the computer. Just set this over to the side. <coughs> Bag full of parts, and you assemble this yourself. So, uh, basically what we have here is just all the parts. Get the board out of here. Kind of hard to do everything with one hand, but there we go. And we just solder in all the components that he has here according to the instructions. But what I found kind of unique with this uh, kit, the uh, Ranverter guy, is he's labeled everything. So you can't really screw up. I mean, everything's labeled. He's got all the components here labeled. So it looks like it's going to be pretty straightforward on uh, basically how to assemble this. You know, you have uh, all your components here, and uh, as you see, he's got everything labeled, and according to the instructions, he says should take a, about an hour for a novice to put this together, and the board's marked where all the components need to go. It's all printed on there. I don't know how well y'all can see that. Let me see if I can get a better, better view of this. There you go. So as you see, all the locations are marked on the little board so just about anybody should be able to do this follow the instructions and uh, we're going to assemble this we're going to get it going and we'll be back with an updated video all right here we go it's all assembled everything soldered in i used his dongle i also tried it with the dongle that i uh presently owned and uh either one will work uh, pretty easy to uh put together uh, it wasn't bad at all uh, he claims it takes an hour to do it. I did it in about 45 minutes, but that is somebody that, uh, you know, I do solder stuff for a living, so. Uh, but I'm, I'm guessing for the novice, it would probably take you a good hour. Um, I did do a couple things to it that aren't in the instructions, and I'll explain. Uh, one of my shrink tubed at the bottom, I don't know how well you can see that. Let me see if I can zoom in. I put a little heat shrink tubing around the shield and uh, at the uh, coax connector because you have to cut that off of this little antenna that he supplies with it. And then I ferret beaded the antenna line um, just for RF protection, that's all, you know, because I run amps and, you know, just in case it wants to come in through the antenna side. I did do that. That was pretty much all I've done. Um, everything else is pretty much uh, put in place the way the board's laid out. We'll get her hooked up and we'll give you a demo of how this thing's working in action. We'll be back. Alright guys, here we go. I got it working. I got it in line right now. I had to make a little cable up for it. Uh, right here because I use an RCA jack on it. I got it hooked into my Dow, Dow key. And basically, uh, just running it on SDR Sharp right now. Uh, seems to be performing uh, okay. Look right right now. I mean, I just heard Italy in there a minute ago. I'm just running it on a little laptop, so I'm just using a laptop speaker. So it's not the greatest in the world, but uh, I was kind of scanning around a little bit, trying to see what I could find, and uh, we got action all over the place. Kind of funny for seven o'clock in the morning, and we don't usually get too much skip going on. Yeah, channel 71. <laughs> 26 megahertz, kind of crazy. Watch this. This guy's up here talking on 75, I think it was. Oh, I'm sorry. 
Where's that? There we go. That's some locals there, it seems like. I never knew anybody talked up that high, but I got signals everywhere. It's kind of crazy. Let's see what that is. There we go. 91. So. Didn't really hear too much going on on Channel 19, which I thought would be kind of busy on a Monday morning, everybody going to work. 19 seems kind of dead. It's crazy. But, uh, there you go. Um, now the next, uh, video I'll probably make is, uh, we're going to adapt this onto my Yezu 101, which is the main purpose why I really bought it. Um, i put it in there, and, uh, see how it rolls from there. Any questions? Give me a shout. I'll stick man at the Moon Man CB shop. And we're back quiet.